Welcome back to the channel and we have another update on universe.money. So in this video, I have a brand new updated calculator and we're just going to be talking about the project, some of the new changes and what we can expect in the future. Before we do get any further, though, remember nothing in this video is financial advice. Please, please, please do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. So first off, I still have my tier three planet Neptune. Unit price has dropped, so it's currently only valued at $10. I do have 3,633 pending UNIF. However, before you compound, you need to watch out the gas fees. So obviously my estimated is 0.01 AVAX with the current AVAX price is around $80, $79. So you actually need to work out that. If I take $79, I'm paying 85 cents in gas to compound my planet. And if I did compound, let me reject this. I would only actually gain 52 cents more of Univ. So it's not worth compounding at this current time. I'll probably just have to wait, but that's okay. I do know now as well, if you look to mint a new planet, you actually have to mint over um, 100,000 Univ. So obviously my planet is below that and that's what how they're trying to counteract that sort of stuff. So yeah, this planet, I'm basically just going to wait for the pending rewards to stack up. Maybe I'll compound it once it's worth more than the gas fees, or maybe I'll even just look to claim or I'll sell the NFT. We'll wait and see on that front. Looking at Univ Twitter, they haven't said too much since the 1.2.7 update. There's been some voting stuff where you can vote for your favorite token. Just check out their Twitter, really. Other people are hitting Jupiter, which is quite nice. And if you weren't sure what the changes are, these were the changes. Basically, if your planet was below Neptune, your base APR per day went down. And if your planet was above Neptune, it increased. Also, the compound bonuses again below Neptune decrease and Neptune and above increased. That's pretty much it. It incentivizes holding for longer and stops people jumping in, getting a few compounds and then getting out. So here is the new calculator just on one sheet. Very, very simple. You'll want to input your unit price right here. So just go on deck screen and we can see it's not looking the best. We're at 0 0.00014. It did sort of bottom out yesterday at around 134, but it's downtrending. I'm not too sure what's going to happen. Again, my planet's only worth $10. We'll just see what happens and I'll just document this project for you guys. So you need to put in your unit price and then your initial planet unit. Obviously now, if you created a planet, you have to put in 100,000, and these are all of the tiers. So first off, you get your Mercury with your daily APR 0.87% with no bonus, and then your total obviously would be 0.87. The daily income, weekly and monthly, pretty much are if you never compounded your planet, you just let that sit for either a day, a week, a month, or a year, and then you came back to press claim, that's how much you would get. Then obviously you hit Mars, you get that 0.8% a daily bonus for each tier of Mars. And then as soon as it crosses over that 5%, you hit Earth. So we can see compounds on the left. This is if you compound it every 12 hours and then we have days on the right. So it would take you four days or eight compounds to hit Earth tier where you'd be getting a 5.6% bonus, which is a total daily APR of 1.16%. At this price, you'd be getting 18 cents per day with an initial investment of $14. And then after nine days, well, yeah, nine days and 18 compounds. Okay, the compounds were a little bit messed up, but they're all good now. So as we can see, nine days, 17, well, 18 compounds, you'd be looking at a Neptune, where your daily bonus would be 10% and your daily APR would be 2.31. So again, your initial investment would have been $14. Within nine days, you would have a planet worth $17.80 if the price held the same, which would be paying you 41 cents or monthly, it would be paying you $12.33. Obviously, again, if you hit claim, it would reset. So you'd have to stack up your rewards. And then after Neptune, you move on to Jupiter, which takes 34 days or 68 compounds, which would give you a daily bonus of 20% which gives an effective APR of 2.57%. Again, this would then be bringing in 88 cents per month. At this point, your planet would be worth $34 from an initial investment of 14, and it would be paying you $26 per month. Then by the time you hit Sun, 
this is 85 days or 169 uh, 84 days or 168 compounds that's a 30 percent bonus and if the price held the same for 84 days your sun nft planet would be worth 144 dollars bringing in four dollars per day 28 a week 122 per month and 1491 per year and then a final maxed planet with a 40 percent bonus brings in 3.05 percent per day that planet would be valued at $1,146, bringing in $34 a day, $244 per month, $1,049 per year, and then $12 uh, per month, and $12,000 per year. So obviously, to fully max a planet, it takes 151 days. By looking at the unit price trends, it's not looking the best. Hopefully, it can just flatline. I, unless they add some extra utility, I don't really see the price climbing too much. So I'm not too sure what is left for the end of this project. I might do just a general video about node projects and how most of them basically in this bear market are just going down. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you still in Univ? Do you have some planets? Again, my planet is worth $10. I'm just going to probably hold it, maybe stack up some rewards, do a claim and then sell the planet with the locked amount of Univ. I could compound it up a bit more. But again, I'm not too sure. Currently, the gas fees are too high. So it's not really worth me doing too much with this planet. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you on my next video.